And welcome San Diego Rotary Club 33 members, our honored guests, and those watching on Zoom to the 33rd oldest, the 10th largest, and the number one best Rotary Club in the world. So in January of 2021, the Foo Fighters released a new album, and one of the singles was called Waiting on a War, where they ask repeatedly, is there more to this than that? The song is a deeply personal one for frontman Dave Grohl, who revealed the song's origins stem from growing up on the outskirts of Washington, D.C. during the height of the Cold War. Who remembers those times? If nuclear bombs began flying, given his proximity to the Pentagon, he worried that if there was a war, we would be the first people to die. As a result, he added, I would have these dreams of missiles in the sky and soldiers in my backyard. Those childhood memories came flooding back when his young daughter recently asked him, Dad, is there going to be a war? I guess that she turned on the television and had seen something about North Korea or Iran or whatever it was, he explained. But it immediately brought back those dreams, and it was heartbreaking to think that she was feeling that same hopeless fear that I had when I was a kid. I think it's important to somehow instill hope, not just in our kids, but in the world. This is coming from Dave Grohl. Because I've always considered myself a hopeful person. It's the thing that gets me to the end of every day. Rotary International President Gordon McAnally speaks often about hope and peace. A significant way to bring hope to the world, he says, is to put a greater emphasis on peace. The goal is to restore hope, to help the world heal from destructive conflicts, and in turn, to help us achieve lasting change for ourselves. Peace, he says, is the soil where hope takes root. Building peace is the essence of Rotary. Peace isn't a dream, and it's not passive. It's the result of working hard earning trust, and having open conversations, they may be difficult. Peace must be wedged persistently and briefly. Everything we do across our areas of focus in Rotary has the potential to foster the hope that can make peace possible. That will speak to the peace building from the ground up. It's not about stopping wars. It's about stopping wars from starting. Prevention, he says, is better than cure. Almost every one of our areas of focus has the potential to do that because there is more to this than that. And now please welcome Ray McEwen, president of the Exceptional Music Company from the class of 2001, who will give us today's 30-second parting message and then ring the bell to adjourn the 14th meeting of our 113th year. Ray McEwen. Thank you, Michael. Albert Einstein bequeathed 1,400 letters through his daughter to Hebrew University. One of those has been recirculating, and I will paraphrase it. When I proposed the theory of relativity, very few understood me. And what I will reveal now will also collide with the ignorance and prejudice and hate in the world. This is an extremely powerful force that so far science has not found and that continues to elude much of mankind. It's called love. And yet, if we will allow it, it can enlighten those who give it and receive it, it can illuminate a path ahead, and it can keep humanity from being extinguished in its blind selfishness and hate. What happened this last weekend was the antithesis of love. We lost much and without reason. But our prayer should also be let us not lose this one force that might give us a path from here. Let us not lose love.